Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Of course, I got my girl Verde here, which I love to death, you know, and there's something crazy about green anacondas. I mean, it's just such an iconic animal, right? When you think of big snakes, you think of anacondas. I mean, people that don't know a lot about snakes come here and they see my big reticulated pythons and they're like, oh my God, is that an anaconda? Just because big snakes are synonymous with anacondas. Regardless, my point is, is that Verde is absolutely amazing and one day is gonna be a giant snake. They grow pretty quick, so it's gonna probably be five or six years before my girl actually gets sizable. So guess what we're gonna do today? We are gearing up, heading off to Atlanta in a few hours and I am hopefully gonna be acquiring an 11 foot anaconda. So I'm gonna go ahead and play with Verde for a minute and then dream about the potential of having a big anaconda so that people that come to the Reptarium can actually hold a big anaconda. We got some things to do before we go, but it's gonna be an absolutely epic journey. I know I have a lot of amazing big snakes here. Obviously we got Lucy and Daisy and my girl Sunrise, who of course is an amazing albino Burmese python. But interestingly enough, I actually did a poll on my YouTube channel and over 20,000 people voted. And I asked, if you wanted to handle one giant snake, what would it be, an anaconda, a Burmese python, or a reticulate? python and believe it or not the anaconda had 56 percent so actually burmese pythons and reticulated pythons together didn't even combine for as many people that said they'd rather hold a large anaconda and don't get me wrong i mean i still think that people are always going to want to come and hold sunrise and of course perdita will still probably be the most kind of sought after animal at the reptarium i mean she's out all the time she's gorgeous she's just amazing and i realized that that poll didn't say perdita in sunrise it said reticulated pythons like Perdita or Burmese pythons like Sunrise. If I would have done the poll like, hey, do you want to hold Perdita, Sunrise, or an anaconda? That poll might have been a little bit different. My point is, is that anacondas are iconic and I want people to have amazing experience when they come to the Reptarium or if I take animals to a school event or a zoo to you type of event. So I need a big anaconda. Well, I don't need it, but I want a big anaconda because I just have always wanted one and Verde will one day be that animal. I have not given up on her. She's amazing, but this particular one is supposed to be dog tame just like Verde and much larger so it gives me a little bit of a head jump and I'm just really excited about adding that to the Reptarium. I've said it so many times I've been afforded the opportunity to get so many dream animals here at the Reptarium. Obviously Night Fury the motley golden child is ridiculous I mean that solid black reticulated python and the list goes on I don't need to go over all the animals that I'm blown away that I have but I will say that I do have one more dream animal if this anaconda thing works out which fingers crossed it will because we're driving 12 hours in order to meet this little thing and it really does look amazing I mean I've seen videos I've seen all kinds of pictures of it it seems like it really is as docile as the guy says it is so I'm super excited about that regardless one animal that is kind of a pinnacle of mine is a Bolin's Python I really want to get a Bolin's Python and put it at the Reptarium that's that black animal with yellow on it unbelievably amazing got the same iridescence as Night Fairy so hopefully we can make that happen but I want to know from you guys down in the comment right now what animal is your dream animal number one and number two what should I put at the Reptarium a Bolin's Python is there something else you guys would like to see if you ever come visit go down in the comments let me know in the meantime uh, I'll still love this guy right here but who knows maybe in the future we'll have a Bolin's Python all right it's time to get on the road again we got a 12-hour drive down to the Atlanta Georgia era but I'm gonna be so excited because on the other side of this drive I am gonna be able to meet an amazing animal that hopefully will come back with us as long as it's super tame it will come back with us a green anaconda what do you say we hit the road Dude, I'm so excited. I can't believe you guys are going to pick up that anaconda. So that should be pretty sweet. Honestly, that's my wife Mary's biggest fears of anaconda. Isn't that funny? I just can't wait to check it out. Though. I hope it's nice. I don't want to be, you know, prejudiced against snakes, but I've heard anacondas can be pretty mean, pretty nasty. You know, hopefully it's not too mean because I want Mary to get used to it. Maybe we'll like make her clean it out or something or make her go swimming with it or something like that. Put her in a room with it because she is really terrified of anacondas. I don't really like anacondas. They're strong and they're teeth. <laughs> Not like, I don't know. <laughs> the movie, I guess. I watched the movie. I was too young. Oh, okay. So they apparently can fly through the sky, like in the movie. Brian said that it's going to be your responsibility to clean and take care and feed it. So, how do you feel about that? Yes. 
Oh my god. <laughs> so we're a couple hours into this uh, 12 hour drive down to Atlanta, Georgia area. I am just so excited about it. Of course, Jay's over here filming. Hey, what's up guys? We're having a great time just talking about what's to come. You know, again, it's gonna be a pretty awesome trip. Gonna definitely check out this anaconda. I think we're gonna get it, again, as long as it's tame because I don't want anyone to come to the Reptarian and have a problem. I'll talk about the process we'll go through later on in another vlog about making sure that it's ready before people handle it. Because obviously we're not just gonna get this animal, take it to the Reptarian, just start throwing in people's hands. It might take a month or two before we even let people handle it. Regardless, looks good. I'm super excited about that. We are gonna stop at Noah Arks, my buddy, with all the cool stuff, lions and tigers and cool animals, not to mention a monster snake. One of the biggest snakes I've ever seen. Gonna go play with that one too before we head back. So it's gonna be a great trip. Uh, definitely rainy outside, a long way to go. It's gonna be a little bit of time before we sleep tonight. So anyways, uh, I'll keep you guys updated as we go. I get you, dude. What the hell is wrong with you? You hear the good news, brother? Dude. What? Maybe. Yes. Maybe? Dude, we're getting a green anaconda. Oh, no, I did hear that. That's insane. That's crazy. Footer, dude. Dude. Hell yeah. Better watch out. Dude. See what it did to J-Lo and Ice Cube. Yeah, I know. It ate her. It almost did. <laughs> Ooh, I wish I was dead. Ain't a oh, God, you know, I don't, you know. Family, family show, yeah. family show. Yeah, yeah, but no. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Sorry. Uh, dude, it's uh, too late now, man. Yeah, Come on. Sorry. Like a Any rocket power. Boogity, uh, boogity, boogity. Anyway, so A, w we gotta name it in the future, dude, for sure. Okay, and then B, since my dad's getting this new animal. I think that we should tell him a new animal that we want in the rest. Yeah, I can get him a Munt Jack. I've been looking down in Missouri, what, two grand. What the hell is a Munt Jack deer? Munt Jack deer. Shout a out Munt Jack deer. They're, dude, they're this big. Okay, they're a little miniature deer. Okay. They got two fangs and what? horns. Swear to God. That dude. sounds like a New Jersey devil. I know. No, I know. Dude, all right. I was thinking. I want one so bad. No, I was thinking more of a. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that. It took me a second. I was thinking more of a. I don't know, like a koala or a koala would be like dope. A, mini a sloth. panda bear. A sloth. Ooh, yeah. Dude. Yeah, I agree. Or a little koala. Yeah, koalas are cool, koala. but I think they all have chlamydia. Okay. That's okay. That's a fact. We do too, I brother. Think... All right. So drop your comments down below on what animal you think my dad should get for the reptarium, because uh, we want to know your thoughts. Make it reptile. We are talking more of. Mammals, but put your favorite reptile down below and uh, maybe my dad will get it. I gotta go talk to the HR department after that comment now. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Uh, I've been going since 7 this morning, so definitely getting a little zany. So, what I do when I get a little tired, I take a little break, look around, and see what kind of cool stuff they have at these places. Uh, oh, look at this. I like this. <laughs> How cute. Oh my gosh, should I get one of these? Jake? Yeah, dude, you need to get one of both. One of both? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is what I need right here. I should buy this for Lori. A little crock pot. Oh, she'd love that. Oh my gosh. Who literally buys a crock pot at a, a gas, gas station? station? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Super confusing for sure. Oh yeah, and by the way, we are in Kentucky. I just realized that because I saw over here. I'm gonna be totally honest with you. Before I saw this, I didn't even know what state we were in. Let's get to work tomorrow. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> oh, this is my shirt right here, baby. Wouldn't I look good at this? Can you please get that? Oh my gosh. If, you don't have, if you're not doing that in the vlog tomorrow. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna wear this, this yep, tomorrow. Okay, cool. 240, right. we can both get one. <laughs> oh, we're good to go. We're gonna drive maybe, I don't know, maybe another two hours or something like that. Drive till like midnight or so. Then we gotta wake up in the morning and uh, this, oh, by the way, I didn't tell you guys, this vlog is actually gonna end tomorrow. Uh, even though you guys are gonna be around for a while. Uh, I'm gonna end this vlog tomorrow. So it's kind of a day and a half vlog, if that makes any sense. So a couple hours, we'll get some sleep, we'll wake up, we'll go see that anaconda. Well, Brian's on his way to go pick up this new anaconda, I guess. We'll see how that goes. But unfortunately, he picks the same week that Bruce and Jessica. <laughs> unfortunately, he picks the same week that Bruce and Jessica are on vacation. So that leaves me even more shorthanded. Whatever. I mean, as always, I'll figure it out. That's right, we are in the hotel here, but don't you worry, the vlog is not over. We still have another five hours to drive, and uh, it's gonna be just a really quick nap, and I'm gonna wake up, and then we're gonna get on the road, okay? And we're ready to go. It's five hour drive ahead, and a kind of time. Let's hit the road. <laughs>
And we have about five hours to go before we get down to where I'm going to be meeting with this anaconda. And, uh, you know, listen, it's an 11 hour, 12 hour drive or whatever, but it's well worth it because, again, I want to make sure that this anaconda is tame. The one thing I don't need is a big anaconda that's going to bite people, right? Uh, I think it's going to be, he sent me videos of this thing. It's actually supposed to be in shed and still dog tame. So, well worth the drive. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys would drive 11 hours just to pick up a snake. But before we head home, we are going to stop off at my buddy over at Noah's Ark. So that would be really fun. And then we head back to the Reptarium. I am over the top excited about meeting, hopefully, my new anaconda. All right, we made it here. Let's go check out this anaconda. This is a really cool area. I mean, take a look at this. This is awesome. I'm excited. Let's go in and meet my new little girl, or kind of semi big girl. Oh my gosh, look at this. She is so gorgeous, dude. She's beautiful. Come on, girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, you know, she actually looks bigger, you know, than yeah. I thought. Oh, look at that, guys. I mean, this is truly the animal I've been just dying for. This is such a dream animal of mine. Again, a big green anaconda that's going to get much, much bigger, obviously. Oh, yeah. But obviously, dog tame. I mean, look at her. She's deep in blue, unbelievably gorgeous. And she is just a puppy dog. Oh, yeah. That's what I need. I mean, because you got to remember, Absolutely. kids are going to be around this. And, yep. and, you know, that's the thing. We just did a poll that we asked people if you could hold an iconic big snake, mm -hmm. what would it be? A berm, a retic, or an anaconda? And 56% of people out of over 20,000 votes said a green anaconda. Oh, absolutely. Any so day of the week, man. Nothing beats a natural green, green anaconda. Green anaconda. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. So guys, I am over the top excited, over the top happy. Uh, this girl is going home with us. Oh my gosh, she is so, thank you so much, dude. Absolutely, man. Seriously, anytime, dude, you come seriously, visit her anytime, anytime yes. man. Seriously. I'll, I'll definitely make it up there. She's gonna get babied like you can't believe, man. She is gonna be my baby. She oh, deserves it. Oh my gosh. She's a sweetheart. I'm oh, the excited. yellow anaconda, on the other hand, she's nippy. <laughs> she's nippy. <laughs> Let's take a look at some other animals while we're here. Why not, right? And then we'll go ahead, we'll pack her up and we'll get on the road. So this is pretty cool. This is, you said is a 75% 75 75% Australian. Australian. 25% uh, New Guinea for and a You can bit. see all that orange in oh, that yeah. bottom. That's that Australian blood. Oh, yeah, and it's sure. quite a bit bigger. I mean, you can tell those Australians get bigger and that is yeah. so cool. Take a look at this guy here. Absolutely gorgeous panther chameleon. Whew, I tell you what, that thing is amazing. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, getting her outside in the light. She is a gorgeous animal. And again, she's in shed. That freaking slow tongue movement, the color, the pattern on this animal. I am over the moon. I mean, this is absolutely an incredible animal. I can't wait to get her home, get her kind of habituated to things and eventually be able to let other people enjoy her as much as I do, because I think it's absolutely incredible. So, wow, what a journey, guys. I tell you what. Oh, and by the way, guys, I need your help a little bit. Can you comment down below and tell me what name you think that I should name this group? Green Anaconda. So after all, she needs an absolutely amazing name. So definitely hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think and let me know what you think about her as a whole. What an awesome adventure. I would have driven 25 hours to come and get something like this. I'm absolutely over the moon, guys. And by the way, if you enjoyed this video, here is another Anaconda video right here. Here's an entire playlist of big snakes. And do me a favor, go over here, subscribe. Make sure to turn those post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Be kind to someone. I promise we'll see you guys tomorrow.